Uh, so I, I go into ecology through, I did a, de a degree in biology. Um, but the reason I did that is because I've always been interested in nature and the natural world. So I've always been interested in you know, going rock pooling by the seaside, um, going down to streams, fishing around, um, you know, paddling around, catching frogs, bird watching, things like that. Um, and so for me, the opportunity to go to, kind of go to university and do a degree was, was an extension of things that I was really interested in anyway. Um, and from then on, doing a master's, I just kept following my own interests, volunteering in my spare time for organisations who worked on conservation and ecology, and it sort of really worked from that. So I'm now, I finished my PhD um, three years ago and I'm now working in, I'm a postdoctoral researcher and I'm working on amphibian disease um, and the, the reason we're doing that is there's a, there's a particularly bad disease that's, that's causing real problems for amphibians around the world. Um, it's made a lot of species go extinct and throughout Europe and the UK a number of populations have, have declined as well. And so my postdoctoral research is trying to identify species and populations of amphibians, of frogs, toads, new salamanders, things like that, that are particularly susceptible that in the future we may be able to help or better, by better understanding what's actually happening, um, what, what kind of problems and how this disease is causing those problems, we may be able to be, actually do something about it. So I guess in, in a few years time I'd ideally have solved the problem of amphibian disease. Um, that's fairly unlikely, but in reality there might be two or three cases in which we've, we've actually been able to do something that's really helped a species um, in, in the UK or Europe, which is where I mainly work. Um, I'd like to continue working on, on things like parasites and diseases because in the future, um, as, as the, the natural world's degraded uh, and the economy, the ecology of system changes, it's likely that diseases are going to become more of a problem rather than less of a problem. Um, and that's for ourselves as humans, human society, but also for wildlife conservation. And so I'd, I'd really like to continue my work in this. And maybe in a few years' time I'll have a research group where, where I've got a couple of postdocs and students, as I've been myself, um, trying to address these kind of questions. Um, I guess my tip would be Interest, be, be interested in the things around you and be enthusiastic about them. Um, so I've gone down the route of going to university and doing degrees, masters and PhDs and so on. But equally working for wildlife trusts, um, working for natural England, working for forestry departments, things like that. If you're interested and enthusiastic about the things around you, um, you know, do your homework, <laughs> read, read, read up on whether it's natural, you know, BBC wildlife magazines and popular science books that are out there and try and try and volunteer, put your spare time into these things, find out what you like. Uh, and if you've got that if you've got that energy and enthusiasm then I think that's that's the major thing that people want. And there are lots of different things you can do within ecology. So you know there are there are options there. It's just having the, having a the drive to do them really.